Storm cleanup continues, and now that the city says all roads are passable, they're focusing on areas that are still partially blocked due to debris like what you see behind me here. Large trees uprooted from front yards and the northeast side of the city. Saturday, city leaders gave an update on the response to Thursday's destruction. We know this storm caused significant damage to our communities, and we are actively working to address its impact, especially here in northeast Baltimore. Where downed trees and power lines still litter neighborhoods and damage assessments are underway. I got a 50, 60 foot holly tree. Three quarters of it fell off. I've been cutting it up myself all day. Meantime, VGE crews are working to restore power through the weekend. But one sweet moment co-owner Lindsay Carlo says she can't wait any longer. That's our business. Ice and ice cream and everything just started melting so fast in this heat. The power went out at the home of Baltimore's best snowballs Thursday evening, and it hasn't turned back on since. Carlo says they've lost plenty of product and significant income while they wait. Rather than celebrating the family business's 30th anniversary, she's been having to clean out the freezers. Today is already a wash, so maybe by Sunday we'll be able to be open and then people come out and support our small business that has really had a hit because of the storm. It's been difficult. And with chances of inclement weather in the near future, the mayor says that the emergency management department is staying in constant contact with the National Weather Service so that the city of Baltimore can be as prepared as possible. In Northeast Baltimore, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.